Fish Water Approved, and today we're at Fisherman's Ideal Warehouse, and we've met the owner, Tad. Tad's going to tell us a little bit about this place. I'm Tad Dunsizer. I'm third generation here at Fisherman's Ideal Supply House. Um, the acronym um, that we go by is FISH, which is where Fisherman's Ideal Supply House comes from, and that kind of tells you a little bit about everything that we do. We've Over the years, we've kind of started from my grandfather's trunk of his car to uh, uh, about 11,000 square feet of, of, of merchandise that we that we sell to all of our local fishermen, anyone who has a boat. Um, my grandfather started out of the trunk of his car, like I mentioned, delivering to the docks, and then it got busy enough to where he started selling tackle out of his house, and then he needed more space, and then we had an opportunity to purchase this property here, and we completely renovated over the years. As time's gone on, our business has changed a whole lot. Um, if you guys would like, we'll take you inside. This here is, uh, this used to be just strictly our showroom. So we had one item of everything in here and the warehouse was just plain, was basically storage. And back when we did that, our business was primarily geared towards commercial fishing. But as time's gone on, we have had the um, fortunate, um, I guess, we've been fortunate enough to take advantage of our vendors and or manufacturers and allow uh, sales to anyone at very affordable prices. So if you have a boat, I'd like to hope that we can help you out with whatever your needs are. So you, so, you sell wholesale and retail? I do some wholesale stuff. Um, it's more on a volume based. Um, Kind of way um, the commercial guys they'll get more of a wholesale price because they sell a lot more of their inventory a lot more inventory to those guys the retail stuff we're st we still do very very good at trying to make sure that we're priced right in today's electronic age luckily we own everything so we're a little that's our competitive advantage okay so take us around the yeah. store and show us a little bit about what you yeah have. this is rods and re or reels um, some some apparel, a lot of blue water tackle if you wanted to fish offshore for any uh, big game fish. And then out in the back um, is where the kind of marine center, for lack of better words, is. Just this last year, we started selling uh, bait recreationally, and so I bought a 40 foot freezer. Everything you can think of. Sardines, yeah, all frozen bait. Sardines, thread fins, um, squid, uh, ballyhoo, um, we sell bonita, we sell chum. Um, it's, I, I, if you guys you, would you want to see the freezer? Sure. Do you edit this? Yeah. <laughs> Bought this back in, April, in uh, October of last year. In the month of May, paid for it. We sold so much bait. So, oh, wow. we, if, we do our best to make sure we don't run out. I sell it in either five five pound boxes, or you can buy it in a flat, or you can buy it in the case as well. Okay. So, what do you uh, what do you do with these traps? You got stone crab yeah, traps yeah. here. Um, a large part of our business stone crab traps. Large part of our business is stone crab traps. Mm -hmm. Last year we sold about thirty thousand. Wow. Um, our best year ever was sixty thousand. So. Um, the plastic traps are what we sell most of. I primarily only sell the wood for, for decoration, honestly. But really? We sell a whole lot of those. That's what a commercial stone crabber will fish with. Isn't there, okay, there's the regulation on it says you have to have this wooden piece on the side. Is that that's correct? correct. That's, that's, so, that's so the crab can find his way out if it gets lost. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. The barrels are used for a bunch of different things. You know, some people use them to put fuel in, which isn't really legal, but they do it. Um, and then other people use them for hook barrels and all kinds of stuff. Okay. You know, it's one of these things we found people will buy, so gotcha, right. we're going to sell it if people buy it. And then this was never really shoppable, except for the last three, four years we've, we've made it shoppable. And gotten to a point now where Sports Authority went out of business and we bought a whole bunch of their fixtures. So we've actually re we've touched everything here three times, we've digitized everything, we're getting on the internet. So we're really getting to the age of technology so, so you now. Sell online as well? We will as a I don't yet. I'm, I'm halfway through my website now we're populating. Gotcha. 
much. Right. Show me where your filet knife is. Um, right around right here. The better knife is the Victoria Knox or Forstner. Um, that's probably my most common local filet. That's knife, my favorite enough. one there, yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's, it's actually a beef skinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they call it a skinning knife for whatever reason, but this is actually the type of filet knife that you should have we in your arsenal. That, most that. highly used. Yep, and then you'd use like, something like that to knife. skin. Right. Very cool. So what's, what's one of these typically go for? Um, this one here is 29 bucks. That's a very good price. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then if you want the fancy one, that one's 45 mm -hmm. That one okay. actually is a little better steel. That'll hold an edge better. Gotcha. It's got a forged blade on it. Mm -hmm. That's the actual all the way down through the handle. what I used to use at the shop. Then I've got other other knives too. Yeah. And okay. We sell it just all kinds of stuff. It looks um, like you got a wide assortment of line leader. Yeah. Sell all the line. Probably more. Probably have more line than most people. Most tackle shops around for sure. I have the largest selection of of of, of rain gear and boots in the area. Probably in the in the Gulf actually. I had to guess. This whole wall is nothing but rain gear and boots. Yeah. We'll turn this over three four times a year. Then we got cast nets and other assorted uh, fishing items. We do chain, um, we do anchors, we have anchors made. We have a local guy who makes our anchors. We make the best anchor around for anything in the 25 plus range as far as a boat goes. I'm very lucky to be third generation, man. We're very lucky to have you in I, town. I am, uh, we had our best year ever this year and um, it's because of our, I got a great team and I got a lot of loyal customers. So, so you have knowledge of staff. If someone comes in here as a novice, they can ask the questions and you'll have people to help. Yeah, have two, have two, I have a handful of very experienced fishermen and people that have been around boats a lot, you know, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of part of their life. Well, thank you. Thank Absolutely. You I'm, I'm, yeah, nice thank you. Yeah, yeah it's, my, it's, it's an honor to be to get the opportunity to speak to you guys. My grandfather started giving out beer for every $100 worth of tackle. So we still offer beer to all of our customers. Thank you very much. basically a circle hook variety and the circle hooks are designed so that it can come easily out of the fish. Fish doesn't necessarily have to swim away with a fish hook in its mouth. So this handy little tool is a stone crab cracker which would come in handy for the average person that doesn't know how to open up a stone crab. The fishing line would go on here and roll it here. Basically what it's going to do is you're going to wrap it, it's going to pull it through this metering device and it's going to measure the length of it as it runs through it. Margaret with Fishmonger Cove to begin with had a nice tour at Ideal Fishing Supply House where I picked up a nice souvenir. I also happened to stop by and get a pair of these extra tough flip-flops. I bought them for, the, for our boat, but the story behind these, they were originally designed for offshore fishermen because believe it or not, they weren't getting injured on the dock, on the de decks of the boat. They're getting injured in the shower and they'd have uh, accidents where they're rolling over and actually their heels were rolling over and they're breaking their ankles. So these flip flops were designed with the fisherman in mind while he's taking a shower on a rolling boat. Go figure.